Hi, uh, my name is Lana Green. I'm TJ's mom. He called me mama, so I'm gonna say I'm TJ's mama. Uh, he, uh, he was described by a lot of his teachers and his friends and people that knew him as having a twinkle in his eye. He, he was full of energy and had a real zest for life. Um, he, uh, he was a lot of fun. If he was in the room, you were laughing, even if you shouldn't be. Uh, just a really good kid. He liked sports. He, he was the kind of kid that was friends with everybody. Uh, he grew up in a small town in northern Alberta. He, what I speculate is where things began. Uh, he suffered a few concussions and then started to deal with depression and was diagnosed with bipolar disorder uh, probably when he was about 17 and started self-medicating and on on the path with the that's when the the drug the substance use came into the picture in tj's life and um, long story short he ended up he was he was trying to get a, access to a treatment bed, which we were consistently met with six to eight week wait times, or just not accepting people due to COVID at the time. Uh, and he landed in the Edmonton Remand Center on September the fourth of 2020, where he began asking for treatment uh, upon arrival. He was expressing that he was um, depressed, had anxiety. He was very forthcoming about having addictions and wanting medicine to help him not crave drugs. He, um, he wrote on medical request forms that he was surrounded by drugs in the ERC and he was having trouble to not crave them. I just wanted to read out I wrote down his words, sorry. He says, I'm having a lot of trouble refraining from using drugs in here and I'm scared I'm gonna lose my life. Sorry. When I get outside, back around um, even more pressure to use. I want to leave this life behind. I've overdosed 16 times. I was on Suboxone on the outside. Please start me on that again. I used to be on it and I was functioning in society and refraining from drugs in a long time. That was in November. Those health requests were ignored. I just want to read his very last request on January the 1st. He says, I'm sorry to bug. I know I'm on the waiting list, but I've been here for four months and soon I'll be back out on the street surrounded by drugs and hopelessness. TJ cited the problem started five years ago Please let me start on my Suboxone treatment. I will not abuse this privilege. Uh, they wrote him back on January 5th to let him know he was finally placed on the wait list for consideration for Subo <clears throat> Suboxone. And he was found deceased in a solitary cell on January the 11th. So I just really wanted to say especially with, um, with Alberta's recovery model, boasting new treatment beds and treatment being the only way and abstinence that, that you don't need to force people, you just actually need to give them access when they ask, if that's what they want, and that all human beings should be treated with dignity and respect, whether they use drugs or not, and I just want to thank you for listening and coming out.